welcome to all students in subject finite element analysis today we discuss about advantages of finite element analysis in advantages fm can be easily handle complex geometry fm can handle complex analysis type like like example vibration transient and non linear fm can handle complex loading conditions like nodal based loading element based loading volume based loading fm can handle complex constraints such as fixed simplified supported roller supported or symmetric and unsymmetric boundary conditions fm can handles body compromises compromises of non non homogeneous and non isotropic material properties special material effects such as temperature moisture electricity can be handled by fm in advantages like irregular boundaries general loads different materials boundary conditions variable element size easy modification dynamics non linear problems now we discuss about principle of apa in principles of apa the finite element method or finite element analysis is a computational technique used to obtain the approximate solution of boundary value problems in engineering in boundary value problems are also called field problems the field is the domain of interest and most often represents a physical structure the field variables are the dependent variables of interest governed by the differential equation the boundary conditions are the specify values of the field variables or related variables such as derivatives on the boundary of the field after this for simplicity at this point we assume a two dimensional case with a single field variables like phi xy to be determined at every point p xy such that a known governing equation is satisfied exactly at every such point this is the diagram p x y 1 2 3 a general two dimensional domain of field variable phi x a three node finite element defined in the domain and c is the additional element showing partial finite element mesh of a domain a finite element is a not differential differential element size like dx by dy dy after this a node is a specific point in a finite element at which the value of field variable is to be exclaim x is to be calculated after this today we discuss about shape functions the shape functions is a very important part of this unit the shape functions there is all things are consider likes in shape function there is very important for finite element analysis so the values of the field variable computed at the nodes are used to approximate the values of nodal points the value that nodal points that is in element interior by interpolation of nodal values for the three node that is triangle example so by the field variable is described by the approximate relation where phi xy is equal to n1 xy phi 1 plus n2 xy phi 2 plus n3 x3y phi 3 after this where phi 1 phi 2 phi 3 are the values of the field variable at the nodes and n1 n2 and n3 are the interpolation functions also known as shape functions or 
blending functions. In the finite element approach, the nodal values of the field variable are treated as unknown constants that are to be determined. The interpolation functions are most often polynomial forms of the ind independent variables derived to satisfy certain required conditions at the nodes. The interpolation functions are predetermined known function of the independent variables and these functions describe the variation of the field variable within the finite element. After these very important topics like degree of freedom. Again a two dimensional case with a single field variable phi xy the triangular element described is said to have three degrees of freedom as their nodal values of the field variable are required to describe the field variable everywhere in the element like 1, 2, 3. So phi xy is equal to n1 xy phi 1 plus n2 xy phi 2 plus n3 xy phi 3. In general, the number of degrees of freedom associated with a finite element is equal to the product of the number of nodes and the number of values of the field variable and possibly its derivatives that must be computed at each node. So degree of freedom is a important topic. So this is a very important topic in finite element analysis. Today we cover advantages of finite element analysis. So thanks all of you.